Hey, what's going on fam? Kurt with Caribbean Q. Today we're gonna to be making a smoked pepper jack cheese meatloaf with a little help from the smoked pepper jack cheese that I got from Lee, Amateur Hour Fish on Instagram. Come with me, let's go. So here we have our five basic ingredients for our smoked Gouda meatloaf. We have two pounds of ground beef to which we're gonna add, this is about a block of cheese, smoked Gouda. We're gonna to add to that. We're then going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. We're gonna add three tablespoons of big and bold beef. Now we grated a half an onion. The reason we grated the onion is it adds more moisture to our meatloaf. And also for those people who don't like the onion flavor, you really won't see it or feel it or taste it. And then finally, we're gonna crack three eggs into this. Now, we could add a binder. For those of you that are watching your carbs, you can add what I'm going to add, which is some panko, but it's bacon shire. Add the last egg. Let's go ahead and mix this together, and I'll show you the next steps. I went ahead and sprayed our cast iron pizza skillet or tray with some nonstick oil, and we're going to go ahead and take this ground beef mixture and just dump it on here going to free form our mold which is really the best way to get a really nice hearty meatloaf going once you free form it stick this in the fridge for probably about 30 minutes to an hour so that it all just kind of marries together then we're going to go ahead and get our Weber smoke fire preheated to 225 okay we have our Weber smoke fire preheated to 225 degrees we're going to go ahead and slide this tray on with our meatloaf. We're gonna go for two hours or until we hit an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So we're at 140 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and glaze the top of our meatloaf very lightly with some buffalo barbecue sauce. Go ahead and get that on top and we're gonna let that set and tack up. We'll be right back. So the Weber Connect went off and this meatloaf is done. It's about 155, 160 right now. And the carryover cook will bring it to 165. As you can tell, very juicy. Let's go ahead and slice right in the middle. And try to get this back here. There we go, beautiful. Looking good, nice and juicy. Still a little bit medium rare. All right. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Kurt with Caribbean Q, out.